Hello and welcome to the day 16 of White Christmas Paper Craft tutorial series. I have been asked many times to showcase a project that would look elegant and sophisticated, but at the same time would be easy to make. Today I'll show you five different fancy-looking holiday tags that are also suitable for mass production, so let's get started. The key to easily achieve a sophisticated look is to use intricate dies. You just have to run it through the die cutting machine. It is Leafy stocking die by memory box. I am now applying Versamark ink all over this image and then I'll be silver embossing it. If you are interested in the supplies I am using, they are all listed in the description for this video as well as on my blog. I'm going to apply at least two layers of embossing powder. This will give me more dimension and also reinforce the die cut. I am now adding some self-adhesive pearls along the scalloped edge of the stocking. Then I will also add some silver star confetti to the end of each swirl as well as to the solid areas of the stocking. This will really make this image look, a, look like a finished little work of art. The sequins I'm using are by Cat Scrappiness. Next I'm going to punch a small hole, one eighth of an inch, and set a small silver eyelet using my Big Bite eyelet setter. Now I am going to attach a chain with a ring at each end. And uh, I will do it for all the tags today. I am feeding a ribbon through the second ring and tightening it up just by squeezing it with the pliers. And the first tag is finished. For the second fancy tag, I'm using Corby ornament die by memory box, as well as the matching background and a cap. I've die cut some of them twice, but will only need one of each for one tag. Now I'm using the needle applicator bottle to apply some liquid glue all over the image. And then I will attach it to the craft background. Next, I'm going to adhere some bronze pearls on top of the image with glossy accents. Then I'm attaching a cap. I'm piercing a hole at the tip of the ornament. And then I'm attaching a charm. This one I made myself, but any ready-to-use charm will be fine, especially if you are mass-producing. Next I'll be also adding a chain and a ribbon. This time it will be a white velvet ribbon. So here is our next tag project finished. The third one will be similar, but this time I'm using LaRue ornament die and a vellum background. So I'm going to adhere the outline to the background again using the liquid glue. I have also decided to attach another outline at the back side to reinforce my ornament. This step is totally optional, though. Now I'm using the hot glue to stick down the caps at both sides. And then I will attach a paper flower right in the center of the ornament. I'm also attaching six pearls around the flower. 
Then I'm punching a hole and adding a charm and a chain just like I did before. This time I will show you what you can do if you have an intricate dye but don't have a matching background. I'm trimming the bow of this candy cane and uh, then I will simply adhere it to a piece of colored paper with a liquid glue and after that I'm going to cut it out. I would recommend to use a thinner paper if you are hand cutting it because it is hard to achieve a nice clean cut with a heavy duty cardstock. Here I'm using pastel paper. Patterned paper or vellum will also do fine. Now I am applying glossy accents all around the front of my candy cane. And uh, then I will be sprinkling some rock candy distress glitter on top. And then I will have to let it dry completely. I will also make a bow with this stitched bow dye by Memory Box. I'm attaching a small bread in the middle just to embellish it. And then I will be assembling the bow with the liquid glue. After the chain and a ribbon are attached, the tag is ready to be added to a gift. For the last tag I'll be using this swirl bell dye and my favorite medium, liquid enamel dots. This color is dove grey. I'm placing a die, a die cut on a non-sticking surface and then I'll be applying a generous amount of this medium all over the image. If some of it goes out of the line, it's no problem at all. After the enamel is applied, I will let it dry overnight. It's better not to shift or move the image. When the medium is completely dry, we can lift the bells from the surface. If there is anything sticking out of the outline, we can just trim it down with the scissors. This stuff is like a very soft rubber when it's dry, so it's really easy to cut. I have die cut the bell once one more time out of the silver mirror card stock and now I'm sticking it on top of the enameled bell with glossy accents. And uh, look at this, you can hardly say it's made of paper, it looks just like enameled jewelry. I have just attached the chain and a real bell for a charm and the tag is complete. Hope this information was useful and you will try some of these tags for holidays. Of course you can adjust the colors, materials and style to your own needs. Here are some more inspirational videos to watch, a Day 16 project of the last year series and the collection of all the tech tutorials I've made. Thank you for watching and have a fabulous week!